Hi everyone, if you're wondering how to update your Active Connect G Series software, you can follow these simple steps. The first thing you need to do is make sure you are connected to the internet, that can be hardwire, hardwired or wireless. Um, you would do that by going into your settings. So in here, I can either use this button tapping on it here, or I can also flick from the left hand side and I get to those same options. I'm coming down to the bottom icon at the bottom here, the cog, and I'm selecting that, making sure that you are on your Wi-Fi network there, okay, oops, um, or your Ethernet in there. So let me just go back one step, because in here is where we're actually going to push the update. Now some updates happen automatically, some need to be pushed. I'm going to click on the green update button and up the top here we've got a button that says online update up here I'm going to select that and because I'm connected to the internet it goes and has a look and of course I have the very latest version let me go to where I have an image though if this is not the case if you don't have the very latest version Right, so many people at this point in time across Australia and New Zealand are possibly, let me just take a screenshot of this, possibly running this version right now. Okay, um, from this version, and it's currently mid June 2017, this version um, we've had three updates since then. So, version 1.0.19. 0.20 and 0.21 okay so in this instance I can tell you that you'll need to push three updates to get to the latest version when you have selected that online update button at the top of the screen as I showed you uh, on my Active Connect what will happen is down here you start to get a loading um, screen and this green bar slowly fills up all the way to here and then you have the option here to download and update okay so once that is done your active connect will want to reboot it'll reboot very quickly and then depending how many apps you have loaded on your active connect is how long that's going to take to then update so the update installs once the reboot happens and your apps all optimize um, if you've only got half a dozen apps it'll happen very quickly if you've got you know 112 apps it's going to take a few more minutes it's not a particularly long process um, I know I have many apps, hundreds of apps on my Active Connect. So when I do do an update, it does take about five minutes for my machine to tick over. Um, let me go out to where I have saved this because at any time, if you require more support, you can go to the Promethean World uh, IT support site, which is support prometheanworld.com if you're after information on how to update your Active Connect G series software you can look for article 1556 and here it is in writing what we uh, have just done through there okay and just to draw your attention to this okay it might be necessary to whitelist those URLs in order um, to update software. Hopefully that was nice and easy and good luck.